While Christopher Reeve is famous for playing Superman, more significantly, he is remembered as being an extraordinary person. Christopher said the key word to describe his most famous role was inspiration. And after the tragic horse riding accident that left him severely paralysed, that is exactly what he became. An inspiration to people all over the world. I just don't know how he does it. I mean, it, he just doesn't stop. I asked him what his, his day is like, and I don't know where he has the energy. He's just unbelievable. Born September 1952 in New York City, Christopher Reeve was an exceptionally gifted student and sportsman. But it was his love of acting that proved to be his true passion. Right from an early age, he said the theatre felt like home. By age nine, Reeve had already landed his first professional theatre job, and by 16, he had an agent. In his final year of college, he was one of two students chosen to study at New York's famous Juilliard School of Performing Arts. The other happened to be someone else we are familiar with, Robin Williams. Christopher quickly scored a role on the TV serial Love of Life, and in 1976, performed on Broadway alongside the legendary Catherine Hepburn. Then in 1978, at just 24 years of age, Christopher won the role that would change his life forever, Superman. It was important to Christopher that he played Superman as a hero with brains and a heart. He was adamant there needed to be stylistic differences between Clark Kent and Superman, or as he said, it would just be the same guy in glasses. Since Superman was a strong and charismatic hero, he played Clark Kent as a weak and bumbling nerd. Being a relatively unknown actor at the time, he was given third billing behind Marlon Brando and Gene Hackman in the first Superman, then second billing behind Hackman in Superman 2, finally achieving top billing in the third film. Despite his superstar status, Christopher remained humble. Superman has been a wonderful part of my life and uh, you know, I have great, great feelings about it. A superb athlete, not only did Christopher always do his own stunts, but he was an expert scuba diver, skier, sailor and had a pilot's licence. But it was his hand gliding skills that he used to create authentic movements for Superman's flying scenes. With the success of Superman, Christopher was considered a hot rising star and was offered the lead in many major movies. He turned them all down, afraid of being typecast as the Hollywood hero, and he felt many of the parts weren't challenging enough. Instead, American Gigolo went to Richard Gere, The Bounty went to Mel Gibson, Body Heat went to William Hurt, Romancing the Stone went to Michael Douglas, and The Running Man and Total Recall both went to Arnold Schwarzenegger. With his very strong will, and against the advice of his agent, he chose a little-known old-fashioned romance as his first post-Superman film because he liked the script and the character. Christopher Reeve and I made a film a long time ago called Somewhere in Time, which is a personal favourite of both of ours, and uh, we became very close friends then and, and have remained so ever since. The Superman franchise had been hugely successful, but after Superman 3 was widely criticised and did poorly at the box office, Reeve wasn't sure he wanted to star in a fourth instalment. He was finally persuaded when the producers promised to give him story input and to finance a long-time pet project of his, the gritty crime drama Street Smart, in which he played an amoral reporter. He was also set to direct a fifth Superman film with a new actor in the lead role if the fourth movie was successful. However, it flopped at the box office and this never eventuated. And I, I think I expected that. I, I, I think there were a number of problems with it but uh, I don't, don't dwell on things like that. I'm sorry that last one didn't work, but uh, that's the way it goes. In addition to his acting, Christopher was very active in political causes. A Liberal Democrat, he protested wartime, environmental, government and arts funding issues. In 1987, he faced tear gas and personal danger when he travelled to Chile to lead a demonstration in support of 77 artists targeted with death warrants by the Pinochet government. I've had a tremendous amount of, uh, of support and expressions of thanks from actors here, from the Chilean actors, uh, support from colleagues, appreciation. It's been very gratifying. I've had briefings from experts with America's Watch about what's going on there. So I'm continuing to educate myself about what's happening. Christopher's passion for acting saw him go on to appear in a total of 17 feature films, a dozen TV movies and about 150 plays. Ironically, the last character 
character he played before his accident was a paralysed cop in Above Suspicion. The film was released six days before the accident. In May 1995, Christopher Reeve, also a keen equestrian, fell from his horse landing headfirst. Unable to breathe, he was instantly disabled from the neck down. While quick medical attention saved his life, the tragedy left him severely disabled and in a wheelchair. Juilliard roommate and lifelong friend Robin Williams rushed to his side. Always the comedian, dressed in blue scrubs and acting as a crazy Russian doctor. Christopher said this made him laugh for the first time and from that point he knew that life was going to be okay. Yeah, I came in as a Russian gynecologist the first day. I heard that you yeah, I said, what, we've got major improvement here. Christopher said it was his wife Dana's love and support that kept him from choosing death over living on a respirator. He admitted he struggled daily with his situation but would repeat the mantra, and now forward, constantly striving to be an example of strength for others. Determined to use his profile to raise funds, awareness, and try to find a cure for spinal cord injury, he was involved with various boards and started the Christopher Reeve Foundation. Despite his frail condition, he chose to travel the country, appearing on TV and speaking at seminars and conventions. I think there was a very, clear sense of this happened to me for a reason maybe I'm meant to be the person on the white charger that says let's fix this darn thing just keeping people alive is not enough it's the quality of their lives the quality of their future that matters I think it's amazing I think he's been doing it all over the country in different places you know it's really hard work for him but I, you know he, he's got the energy He's doing this and he's going to go back and direct a movie, which is even more amazing. That movie was the HBO film The Gloaming. Starring his good friend Glenn Close, it received five Emmy nominations. And in spite of his concerns that acting without the use of his body might not be enough to tell a story, Reeve was also praised for his talent and courage when he took on the lead role in the remake of Hitchcock's Rear Window. Because Christopher found the strength to use his personal tragedy to help others, there were many who came to believe he really was Superman. Christopher famously explained Superman's popularity, saying, he's a friend, everybody needs a friend, that's why he's still here. And he lived this sentiment in real life, providing hope, strength, and a friend to so many others suffering disabilities. He's just as strong and uh, he's just, he's just, I think the, the amount of, the nice thing is it relates to the amount of support people have given. The love that people send him from all over the world is just empowers him even more and tell people not to stop because it just keeps him going. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, he's a symbol to people of great power and of courage and all over, everywhere, everywhere I go, people say that. Of all his achievements, Christopher said that his best-selling autobiography, Still Me, was one of the highlights of his life. He also wrote a second book, Nothing is Impossible, Reflections of a New Life. Audio productions of both books received Best Spoken Word Album Grammy nominations and Still Me won. In October 2004, Christopher was treated for a pressure wound, a common symptom of his condition. The wound had become severely infected and after being administered antibiotics, he went into cardiac arrest. Christopher tragically passed away in hospital with his wife and children by his side. He was just 52 years old. At the time of his death, his determined rehabilitation work meant he'd regained partial movement in his fingers and toes. He could feel a pinprick anywhere on his body, as well as differentiate between hot and cold. Even until the end, he never gave up on life. I was married to a man who never gave up and was facing it's harder than this what he was facing every day um, because I just and I feel so close to Chris during this as well because of some of the treatments that I've been going through the MRIs and the things getting stuck and stuck and stuck with IV needles um, it is he taught me so much about courage and about going forward and he really lives with me in this Sadly, Dana Reeve passed away from lung cancer in 2006, less than 18 months after her husband. Their legacy in raising awareness, funding and support for those suffering disabilities continues today. We really do live in an age 
where nothing is impossible. Christopher Reeve will always be remembered as Superman, not only on the big screen, but through the strength, courage and determination he displayed in his own life. Stay tuned to Star Picks for more of the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's altogether better on screen and at mnc.tv.